He heard it through the grapevine. So the UB's Andy Porter will fill us in about a public hearing planned for this week regarding development standards for wineries in Walla Walla County. After aging for years, the issue is being released at the County Planning Commission's meeting. Andy says the proposed standards aren't intended to be more restrictive for new developments. In fact, they would streamline the permitting process for smaller wineries. The hearing will be held Wednesday at 7 p.m. in the Community Development Conference Room at 310 West Poplar Street. And find out from Andy that county commissioners are trying to round up a volunteer to sit on the fair board. See his story today to learn more. He also reports that officials still are investigating the cause of that house fire in College Place Sunday that injured three people. Apparently, the building needs to be stabilized before investigators complete their probe. Another helping hand for homeless vets. The federal government is providing the Walla Walla Housing Authority with about $279,000 to help veterans find a place to rent in areas served by the local VA. Read Sheila Hagar's story in today's UB. A state tourism consulting team working on a strategic marketing plan is traveling around. In Strictly Business Today, Vicki Hillhouse says members will be at the Walla Walla Airport Conference Room Thursday for input from people here who have a stake in the industry. A Walla Walla woman is charged with stealing nearly $7,000 from Allstate Insurance on Melrose Street where she worked a few years ago. Kelly Wilson allegedly adjusted the company's records to take about $6,800 in 2005 and 2006. A man suspected of having a two-pound brick of cocaine in his garage last month is scheduled for trial June 23rd. Jose Martinez II of 737 North 8th is charged in Superior Court with possessing the drug with intent to deliver it. And today, Mary Christensen will swap a story about the Exchange Club Youths of the Month in her Etc. column. Find out more about Joseph Hagberg, Michelle Warner, Lauren Peterson, and Adam Newbold, who were recently tapped for the honor. And we'd be pleased if you'd join us again tomorrow for the Daily Bites. <laughs>